So what, where do things stand right now as far as you racing? Um, I heard you got on a bike and did a 40 minute moto right off the bat. I got the blister to prove it, huh? It was tough, but uh, I came out, I, I had one of those new 2010 Yamahas ready to go. It was stock with the plastic grips, but I was ready to go. And uh, I mean, the bike was awesome. Once I got on the bike, I just really couldn't stop riding. And I just rode until I thought I might be running out of gas and then I pulled off. But really, I mean, I was surprised. I thought I was gonna be like huffing and puffing bad, but I'm probably in better shape now than I was all last year. So, um, racing-wise, I mean, talk on the internet. It's, oh man, he's got two weeks to get ready for Anaheim one. But uh, you know, is that even something that's entered your mind, or are you sticking to the Daytona plan? I I have no Daytona plan. I don't know where the Daytona plan comes from. Everyone thinks I'm like the god of Daytona, but honestly, I don't see anything special in that place. But I think uh, I think. I need to race for myself, for my team, for my sponsors as soon as possible. And I don't really see why I couldn't race Anaheim one. You know, obviously I'm not going to be in tip top shape or might even still be a little rusty, but as long as I can get through the whoops and do the triple and what else is there? I mean, half the guys out there can barely do that. So I'm ready. Yeah, four months, people are out with injuries. Really That's what I was saying. This was, it was just like an injury where I wasn't even hurt, you know? I didn't even, I'm not gonna have to do any physical therapy. It was just like, kind of like therapy for my mind. You know, I got away, got to, like you were saying, saw who my friends were, cleared my head out. My brain's not cloudy anymore and I'm ready to do it. What do you regret the most about things you've done in the past and what kind of different strategies are you gonna have from here on out? I mean, I think it, it just goes back to, I regret how much, how little effort I put into it when it only would have taken a little bit more, you know? I mean, in 2008, like I trained and I did good, but still I wasn't, wasn't really too into it. You know, I kind of won that on skill. But I mean, I look at it and it sucks that I could have won all these championships. I see Dungey winning championships. and I mean, I don't want to start talking anything, but I'm, I'm better than he is. And that's how it's always been. And it kills me to see guys that, that I don't look at as as talented, but they put in the work and they do what they should do. And it pays off for them so big. And I mean, I just, I want to do whatever I can do to get the most out of it instead of trying to think it's cool how good I can do not training, you know, like, oh yeah, I got fifth and I wasn't even training. I'd rather, I'd rather just dork out for a while, get out of the scene, train, and start winning the races. So you say you're ready to go to work now? Yeah, for sure. So, another one of the popular parts in Kickstarter is when you talk about your hair. So is this the, uh, the new look from here on out? I don't know, my friends are asking me, but I would like to grow my hair back out and I would have my hair long again if I could just snap my fingers and do it. But the problem is once your hair gets like an inch, it looks horrible. Like it does this thing right before it lays down because I tried to do it, you know, like I, before I had cord, I, I grew my hair for like a month and it looked horrible. So I cut it off. I mean, the first day I got home, I shaved it back off. I mean, I like it. I'm probably gonna run it for a little while. We'll Good. see what girls think. That's what really matters. How the rest of the sponsors that you had for uh, for your race team dealt with your situation? I mean, some of them have been cool. We've had a bunch of people stick by us. We still got FMF, which is good. I mean, I've been a lifetime FMF rider, and I mean, I, I'm really excited to keep them going. And uh, I'm still with Monster as of right now, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen again for next year. I think they're going to go a different direction, which is a shame you know it, it sucks for me because I'm I've been a monster rider since 2003 2004 and I would have liked to keep it going but I don't think they're gonna do that you know that's not my choice but I still got a few more a few more days to be a monster athlete so I take advantage of those but 
it looks like next year I'm gonna not only have no fear gear, but we're gonna probably do the energy drink too. And then AM PM, I mean they stuck by too. I mean that's one of the biggest sponsors we have and to have them stick with us. We got boost again, so honestly I got everyone that I want and uh, I couldn't be happier with how the team turned out. Like I was saying, every time I get a visit I get more good news about the team. You know, we got Langston and Hamlin are gonna be riding and I mean, it's awesome. I mean, there's two guys that I'd love to be on a team with, and I've only been out there with Grant one day so far, but, I mean, it's cool because he's someone I get along with, and it's nice to have that under the tent, you know, as opposed to someone you're kind of at each other's throat. so I think it's going to be good. You said you didn't, you know, miss riding dirt bikes or anything, but there had to have been a point in that four months when you started thinking about riding or, or uh... I would think about riding, but I... It was smarter for me not to think about riding because, you know, that was one of the main things that obviously I couldn't do in there. And once I started thinking about it, I started to, you know, get too in depth with it and kind of start to get down. So the best thing for me was just kind of use it as a vacation almost, just get away from it, you know, forget about what I've done in the past and just try and think about the future. What was a typical day like? Typical day was long. Every day was long, but. Pretty much you just look forward to next time you're gonna eat. And that's really all it is. It's just eat, hang out, eat, hang out, maybe get a shower, talk on the phone. It's, it's way expensive to talk on the phone though, so I didn't really do that much. Did you ever see him get shanked, like in the movies? Yeah, I saw some stuff like that. I'm gonna name their names right now. <laughs> nah, I don't even really wanna talk about it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> So I, I saw some dirty things, a couple dirty things, but as part of it, that's what makes you not want to go back. I mean, if, if it was cool and easy in there, you, why not, you know? Why try to keep yourself out if there's nothing bad? But it's a horrible place to be. I'm going to do whatever I can never to go back there.